When Rocket League was first released, the community of this game was very small and tightly knit. Everyone knew everyone and most players who played the alpha version of the game were longtime fans of its predecessor, Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Power Battle Cars, or SARP for short. There were a few players who managed to carve their names in the early history of the esport, and among those were these two teams who took their respective regions by storm. Each of these teams won series after series in their home region, building up insanely long win streaks which would be unheard of in the current state of the esport. Both teams shattered records that remain untouched to this day. Eventually though, someone had to come out on top, and today these two teams battle it out for the first time since 2015. The first team to introduce, and the undisputed number one team in North America for quite some time, is I by Power Cosmic. This is the team that inevitably won the Season 1 RLCS with the guidance of their team captain Kronovi alongside Lucinio and Overzero Super Sub, but that's a story for another time. The original lineup was Kronovi, Sao Jr, and Gibbs. Kronovi is a name we all know and love, and many would argue is still the poster child of Rocket League. This guy has been involved in the scene since the very beginning and played SARP way before Rocket League was around. He has been a consistent player across the board and has participated in every RLCS season. Next we have Sad Jr. A staple player in the early days of Rocket League, known for his crazy upfield plays alongside Kronovi, he later on moved over to Kings of Urban, which was a team disputed to contend for the number one seed in North America during the first season of RLCS. The final player, and the brains of the operation, is Gibbs. This man was the number one solid anchor in Rocket League back in the day, making saves left and right for this team. He was known for his defensive positioning and defined a very unique playstyle which worked well with the right team around him. Since leaving the competitive scene, you can now find him as an analyst of the RLCS. These three players quickly made a name for themselves in North America, taking countless tournament wins and paving the way for competitive Rocket League content on YouTube and Twitch. Next we have their European rival, Flipside Tactics. This team was made up of Cookster97, Marky Duda, and Mike Rules. If you're familiar with RL Esports, you know the name Cookster97. The King of Clutch himself claimed a spot in the top of the game in RL Esports early on. Alongside Kronovi, he has also been involved in every RLCS season that has existed, which is not something many can say. As we move into RLCS Season 10, these two continue to prove why they have been here all this time. Next we have Marky Duda. Marky was known to be one of the biggest personalities in Rocket League and for a very good reason. Marky also made a name for himself as one of the best grounded players in the game with very precise 1v1 mechanics. Alongside Mike Rules, another player known for his consistency and accurate passes, these two created a team called Teamy Weemy and later picked up Cookser during one of the first ESL tournaments. They stuck together ever since that time and competed in the first season of RLCS together, eventually falling to the new I by Power lineup in the Grand Finals. As you can see from these clips, these players are all friends and shared the drive to be competitive players even back when this game had no competitive esports foundation. Will the two remaining pros from these six players be able to carry their rusty teammates, or will they be the ones to be carried? It's time for a rematch of the two Rocket League Titans. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, the two Titans of old, your undefeated. We've never seen either one of these teams lose before. The Clash <laughs> of Titans. Flipside Tactics versus I Buy Power. This is a throwback and a half. These, th these teams were the legends that probably got so many people into Rocket League. Uh, back in the day, even um, even current pros right now, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. And even two, you two were talking about it. Yeah, I mean, watching these guys play the game and just seeing, like, when I picked it up, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't hit the ball, and so I was like, yeah, this is a fun arcade game to play oh, with was, friends. So you, you know, said, I think you can't game. hit the ball anymore. <laughs> if you still can't hit the ball. <laughs> also, I'm yeah, not gonna lie. Hard. I don't remember Kronovi being able to do this back in the day. <laughs> it's insane the play different that this changed right now. And and this is why like chat was saying, yo, flip side's gonna win. I don't know. I, I legitimately have my favor. And I don't know about you guys, Verge. Uh I I I think the favor goes to I buy power in this one. Honestly, I mean, I'm it, not sure. Personally. Yeah, fa favorites, I think it, it, I think I am leaning towards flip side just because we see Sad Jr. And, and Gibbs both like move out of playing, and obviously Mike and Marky did as well. But like, they're they're still in the scene. We've got Gibbs on the desk. And we've got Sad Jr. Uh, coaching Chaos. Um, mm -hmm. But I feel like Mike still plays. He said, um, Marky, yep. I feel like has always been the player who can put the game down for a month and come back and be the same player. And Cooks are still in RLCS, so. Um, I, I think I'm gonna lean on flip side on this one. And we gotta we do have though... to keep in mind that uh, we are we are on NA server right now, so NA does have the advantage. Mm, um, that's true. Mm. At the same point, dude, do you think this is gonna be coming down to uh, the two current pros, or do you think there's some extra extra sauce in there with Gibbs in the net? 
<laughs> I think it's going to be, it's going to come down to everybody. I don't think there's going to be like Cronovi or Cooks are kind of popping off and carrying the team. I think it's going to come down to who's got the more solid uh, unit. Yeah, this, well, so this is fun. If a lot of people don't know, if, you know, if people join into um, <clears throat> Rocket League Esports a bit after, um, you know, the RLCS had already started, you would have known back in the day if you, if you were there early that the original play style was Gibbs and Net. Right, it was Sad Junior yeah. and Kronovi that would do all the offense. They'd move up field, and they had Gibbs as basically a dedicated, dedicated goalie. goalie. And the the cool thing is that Flipside Tactics is one of those teams that changed that. You saw them with mm -hmm. the full three man rotation. Now a lot of times they would get scored on, uh, almost like that, because they would send <laughs> literally everyone up on the opposite side, which we've only now started seeing teams perfect like G two. Um, but still dangerous, right? So it was cool because you also then saw I Buy Power start to adopt that play style and yeah. then Gibbs started moving up field and honestly started doing a lot of the work for the team. Yeah, he was like a playmaker. Like before before he was obviously that dedicated goalie, but like you said, Flipside kind of forced that meta to change and, and forced three people to be a little bit more aggressive. And back then they weren't as efficient mechanically, so we would see a lot of those breakaway goals. But with the mechanics nowadays, like players are good enough to be all the way upfield and get back before a shot's taken. Right, so and you guys, you guys do well as a great pitch right, right there. Yeah. <laughs> you guys do bring up a good point. I'm wondering how much chemistry is still back in there, you know, in muscle memory and positioning, like with these two teams after not playing for mm -hmm. five years. Um, I'm sure they still are pretty aware of what each other kind of want to do with the ball. Wow. Whoa, what, what a great mm -hmm. shot. Well, I mean, Gibbs is, Gibbs is just setting up play after play here, and they're just peppering the net until something something happens. And and right here, we just see Marky and Mike just get caught on the, the back post, leaving it open. Cooks or can't get to it. And Kenobi scores off the Gibbs pass off the ceiling. And so far, Kenobi's yeah, been the only one to score the goals. So <laughs> hopefully that changes in the in the future. Uh, for those people who do not know, uh, the game seven will be decided for the server, uh, depending on how many goals you score. So. No matter how high high up you are in goals, I think both teams still want to be scoring as much as possible. Now, what, one thing I am noticing is the, the, the extreme amount of experience. I mean, we talked about, there we go, finally an answer. Good passing play too. Yeah, um, like uh, Cookster was tearing them up on the defense with those demos, just opening up that pretty much the goal right there. That was great placement on the uh, the mm -hmm. pass by Mike Rules off that corner, just to get around the <laughs> defender. Mm -hmm. Luck. <laughs> <laughs> Sad Junior calling the luck. Um, what, what, what I am noticing about this, though, um, again, is that I Buy Power is not going to the classic uh, play style. They're, they're not throwing Gibbs in net. In fact, it's been Kronovi that's been playing that patient uh, third man. And I think that's something you're seeing him really adjust to uh, over the years in RLCS as well. Uh, he's, he's been that guy that's been that rock for his team uh, that goes where he needs to go. And it's really been cool seeing him grow from being that offensive player to the guy that sits back and watches. He's letting the other two do what they need to, and that's why he's getting those goals, is he's, he's coming in as the punish. So, Brody, yeah, what you're, you're gonna... saying is that the best player on the team is the third man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, So, it's the Gibbs job. was the best player the on I by Power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was the best player. He was. He Don't was, give he him any credit. Hey, he was definitely the brains of that, of that organization. <laughs> But I mean, that's just kind of Kenobi's play style, though. I think as a player, he's always had that unique play style of not really needing boost as much as most other pros do. He's always been really comfortable with low boost. Yeah. So you see him going straight where he needs to go instead of going out <laughs> wide for that boost and then coming back or, or something. So he's always in that position he needs to be in, regardless of how much boost Verge, he's got. It's because he can't do anything else with boost. <laughs> <laughs> It's honestly impressive, though, like looking at these two teams, it does remind me it, I'm getting a bit reminiscent of how they played back in 2015. I see the rotations kind of fitting back into place um, with the passing plays on flip side and the uh, sort of more freestyle esque uh, gameplay from I by Power from Sad Junior yeah. Kronovi. Oh, that's Some a great pressure. shot at the bottom left there, though. Yeah, I didn't see what happened here. Great touch by Cooks over the net. Uh, a bad, bad touch from Gibbs here, just throws it out. And mm. then a, a fortunate dunk, I guess, from Mike, or maybe he intended to yeah, do that. Yeah, Gibbs actually awesome hit that 45 degrees to the right there, but Mike got it passed right back to Marky for the shot. It was interesting. I like this, though. Tied game with 20 seconds left. <laughs> you like to see never okay, mind. Well, never mind, Zach. <laughs> Come on. It's always set. Come on. Oh, my so goodness. Storylines. RJC with the 500 Canadian donation for the prize pool. Wow, oh. let's go. Oh, Pogs in chat. That's uh, awesome. Good for these guys. We'll have to update them after this game so they I, understand. I'm putting it right oh, okay. in here to see if we can get... We'll just it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> just put a little more pressure on flip side here. To I just I just want to say that that actually matches the prize pool for that these guys used wow. to play for back in the day. <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, the world finals. Is what they're making. 
I, I think the sweat, you can see the sweat just came a little bit, a little bit more after they saw that number. <laughs> They're getting really aggressive, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a shot. Oh, it's still up. Thought Gibbs was going to drop it, but... They're doing a really good job of keeping it up. This is not something you would see back in the day. <laughs> yeah, not as well. well, I mean, like, in, unless you think back, the, I think the closest we got to a, a moment like that was, remember the Kyle Mask shot, the shot heard around the world? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. What's that in real money? <laughs> <laughs> now, what are we thinking, guys? Uh, Chad, do you guys want us to go see the, like, interview the losers so far or the winners or just let them play it out? We'll join their comms next game. What are we thinking? I want. I feel like joining in comms um, mid-game mid -game would be really fun. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So play it out and then we'll go into comms for the second game. Okay, that sounds good. I like that. <laughs> okay, they're jumping right here. Oh, okay, awkward. let's go. <laughs> okay, but... well, my favorite thing about this is, this is the classic. This used this to is... happen all the time. The light, just the <laughs> the uh, lightning show at the beginning of matches. Someone joins early. I think we're we're good here. Yeah, we're good to go. <laughs> there we go. So was I not supposed to? So now we're switching to the EU servers. So this, <laughs> I was telling Leaf, like this is now going to be the one goal difference to flip side. Because we had the NA server where I by power wins by one goal. Are we going to see the same thing? Yeah. The other way now, though. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> so far, it's looking pretty even, though. The first 15 seconds going by here with the kickoffs going pretty yep. stale. <clears throat> Cook's taking a carry for a pinch. Here it comes. Uh-oh. <laughs> he got oh. it, too. Yeah. Marky's going for the dunk. <laughs> he gets it, but not in. Karobi gets a big <clears throat> clear. And that that's something, too, that was developed later i one the skill because i wasn't good at doing um <clears throat> a lot of the aerial stuff back in the day so i actually practiced <clears throat> excuse me pinches uh a lot never did i get them as good as as cooks here has perfected them though <laughs> and I he's think, still uh, so consistent being on, the batmobile, being on that batmobile is definitely oh, <laughs> Ooh, yeah, what a scene. <clears throat> unfortunately okay. we can get back to it we got to talk about this is classic gibbs gibbs was the foundation yeah. the rock for the team before and this is exactly why unfortunately you know the punish is a lot better now. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's classic flip side though. Look how aggressive that was. And they knew that that wasn't going far. Now, Just so immediately there to punish with uh, with them going up one goal and they're down a game. Let's jump into their comms real quick and just listen in to see what they're what they're talking about. Okay. Yep. I won't get, I won't get away. Keep you, Mark. I've got it, boys. You know? <laughs> Quite pinched the way I thought it would. Open, 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 open. <laughs> oh, wow. Who is that? Was that Saju? I think yeah, so. Dude, I can't. Yes. I can't. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We can hear you, Les. I, I know. Thought we, was, we couldn't hear you. <laughs> wow. Uh, can you both shut up? I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be on the right, I mean, car. Right. I speak it. Italian, I can understand it. <laughs> Cheryl Bellow. <laughs> Give us a fucking better US server next time you threaten. Yeah. Terrible. Had better ping in Asia for fuck's sake. <laughs> should I touch? You got that Chicho? Yeah, you should touch. Oh! Konami's <clears throat> getting mad. Porca Dio. What a great got... shot. Okay. I got it. Yes, you. Yeah. Stick your dear back guy in mid. Oh, oh yeah. He's first. Oh. All right, yeah. all right, Chad. I'm gonna move over to the uh, the I by power uh, comms for a bit. See how they're doing. <laughs> Fake it again. Damn, Chad killed uh, him. I got through him. <clears throat> Cock keeps faking because like, I don't yeah. know when he's gonna uh, if he's gonna flick it or not. Yeah. Damn, we should do that next summer on our server. Alright, we got this. I'll cheat. Actually, I think I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Oh, he's side foot. Oh, nice speed. Uh, I was trying to slow it down. Oh, my God. Damn. The hell is going on with this ball? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Probably shouldn't do the soft though. Just you won't be able to see. All right, there we go. A little bit more serious. A little, yeah. a little more serious on the <laughs> NA side. Classic though. That's classic though. What, what <laughs> Gibbs? What were you? Was he trying to flip reset? Was it he... looked like it? Yeah. <laughs> Gibbs, this is 2015. That mechanic doesn't exist yet. Stop trying. 
They're, they're, <laughs> they're hard coming over there. F3 is <laughs> having a blast. I don't know. Are, F3 are, is are F3. they hard coming though? Because there's a lot of dead space. That's true. That's true. They seem like they're having a little bit of fun with it. They're kind of just trusting each other's, you know, play style and personality. I mean, yeah. Oh, that was a good dunk right there by Gibbs. Um, it was. Gibbs is being aggressive here. Another oh. dunk. Oh, they're so fast though. Still to this day. It's incredible how, how close these teams are in, uh, in skill, like, as a team. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. see it's 4-0, but I feel like it's more so just like some small mistakes that Flipside are capitalizing on more than it's like them outplaying them super hard. Yeah, like I feel like it's been a lot of open nets caused by Iba Power themselves rather than, you know, outplaying. Mm -hmm. Like there's just that openings. Was so there's, shot, that was a really great shot. Yeah. And Sad Jr. was telling me before this, I was talking to him, and he hasn't touched this game in a couple months and he just started playing <laughs> this week. So he's looking pretty good still. Yeah, this is a th I, I think a lot of people, <clears throat> they, they look at pros in um, context of other pros, right? So they'll see, yeah. Uh, they'll see someone being not that good in the RLCS, but it's like they don't realize how good that person still actually is. Yeah, right? Like, you might be getting beat in the RLCS, but you're getting beat by RLCS players. Of yeah. course, it's going to be a, a lot harder. <laughs> that muscle memory always comes back to, like, you, you, you know you've played this game for thousands of hours. Even back then, uh, they played for yeah. probably 1,000, 2,000 hours in Rocket League. Um, they were grinding this game, all, all, all of them in those competitions and stuff. And, uh, I mean, how, how many of them are from SARP as well? So you've got the muscle memory from the game before. I know Cronovi is and, and Cookster is, but as far as everybody else goes, they, they still have the muscle memory from SARP. Yeah. Imagine. Now, I've always said this. There, there, there's literally no game that translates its muscle memory over to Rocket League. No. Except SARP. Would ha even though there's a bit of difference in the physics, that would be the closest thing. So having SARP experience definitely had an advantage. Because, um, like, yeah, any other game, you're starting at ground zero. Now, yeah. what, what so we you, saw the, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's go ahead. We saw, we saw that advantage fade more as time went on, though, as players started to catch on. And, like, today, like, being a start veteran today means almost nothing compared to, you know, being a Rocket League pro just because the skills s surpassed where the, the start players have kind of yeah. set, the, set the bar. It, 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 yeah. It was sort a, of what I was going to mention. Right. And that's sort of, sort of yeah. what I was going to mention is, like, why do you think that uh, having all that experience didn't keep them ahead? Do you think it's like complacency back then or or just like new, young, you know, whatever you want to call it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I mean, young players that come in. But I feel like if this game came out like five years earlier, then I would have picked it up a lot quicker than I did. Just because when you're younger, you've got so much more time and, and it's kind of easier to program your brain in a sense, I guess, because you have less information, you've got less skills, you haven't practiced all up, as much all things. Up. Uh, all the Brazil. Much. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really interested in this Brazil right now. If I like this what you're saying, but <laughs> I want to see this. It's incredible. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe it's it's as dominant as it is the second game because it was one a one goal game last game and now it's a five goal difference, so that server change must have really hit the NA side. Come on, the pressure's building now. This is this is where Flipside used to shine, all three up on offense. <laughs> you're, you're rooting for the Brazil, I can hear it. <laughs> I just want the Brazil. <laughs> Everybody wants it. It's something you just I'll get you hope first to chip. have if it gets this close. There's ten, only 10 seconds left for this to happen, though. If Flipside Still doesn't score it, though, it's a forfeit. Oh, oh. they kind of gave that one up. That was their chance, I think. Still a possibility. The That's it, though. Oh, wow. Naps in the chat. <laughs> what Dang, a great game, Brazil. though. So we're back to uh, even playing field. At the words of Trevor, uh, dude with the nose, we are now in a best of five. <laughs> 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 so we're starting it off um, with a new whole series. F in the chat for uh, no more Brazil. But uh, let's see how this next game goes as we get into uh, the NA side. Let's see if uh, I my power can bounce back because that was a rough loss. Losing, losing by six. Was it by six or by five? It was by five. It was by five. Losing yeah. by five is, it's rough. Like morally, you, you got to be a little bit distraught on whether you think you can do well this next game. I think I you can bring it I back. Know, maybe, maybe this is a difference just in. Um, I, I feel like when when you get a goal lead that far ahead, it's like you you almost forget about that match because it's not like it's yeah. like okay we could have had that. It's just like. That's a write-off, boys. We, we're moving on. Yeah, we're yeah, back on the NA definitely. side as well. So, you know, that could also change it. We could get to a Game 7 if this goes back and forth the way it has been, which would be the most exciting result I'm sure everyone's hoping for. Man, Gibbs camera settings. He likes to play far from his car. You don't see that very often anymore. Dude, Ooh, what a passing play. Start Fun fact, strong. Gibbs plays at max distance now because he's like, I can't do mechanics. I just want to see the entire <laughs> Straight up, that's not a lie. That's funny. That, that was, was really solid, though. 
finding that gap in the midfield and just placing it there right on Marky's nose. Marky finds a gap in the net. Real easy, clean passing play for flip side. Very clear over the side. We got a few players punching up in the corner here. It's really solid 50-50s by both teams. It's just those small openings that we were talking about before where you, you have those openings that you don't really quite expect uh, when you're, you're playing with these people you haven't communicated with in four, four or five years. <laughs> yeah. you, you never know how everyone wants to rotate, especially, you know, Cooks and Kronovi have definitely changed dramatically uh, yeah, since no these kidding. days. And the, the whole dedicated oh. goalie doesn't work anymore, so you, you definitely have Gibbs kind of coming out of his comfort zone on this team. That's hard. That that almost could have been a punish there, but I don't think anyone from I by Power expected Flipside to drop that straight in front of the net, so they weren't close enough to put it in. But, I mean, they're taking to advantage. They're starting an attack. It's just these attacks don't seem to be long sustained from I by Power. It tends to just send right back out the other way. A lot of defensive passing from Flipside Tactics is sending it right back down to midfield. And with this, uh, any shots coming out for uh, I by Power. With this, uh, with this evened out game in the series that we've got going, I wonder if any of these teams are going to change up their strategies a little bit, uh, maybe confuse the opponents. So far, I see definitely the aggression from Gibbs has kind of been consistent throughout, but I'm curious to see if they try to revert maybe with Kronovi yeah, sitting <laughs> and just try to go back to an old, older style. We did hear Kronovi say that Cooks are faking a lot, and you know he said maybe I should do that, or I think Sad maybe maybe we should do that on the when they're on high ping because when you're on high this ping like that, you have that extra second or two to to see whether the ball is actually going to move the way it, it's looking like it's going to go or if it's going to change with that that delay. This is a classic goal, though, for flip side. Everyone moving up just a little bit too far, leaving an open net. We're quite familiar with those. I mean, not so much the last few years, but uh, <laughs> it's definitely something that they, they struggled with. Uh, but yeah. that's that, that allowed their offense to really strive against those uh, uh -huh. teams that weren't as experienced. Yeah, we do see Kronovi being a little bit more passive, kind of letting Gibbs go up into that midfield yep. and make the first challenge. And I think it's just a matter of understanding your limits as a player and mechanics. I think Kronovi understands that as far as mechanics go. Oh, what a shot by Sad Jr. finding that opening. Cooks was low on boost. Left in a 1v3. This is it again. Look <laughs> there are two flip side tactic members in the net of I by power, and Cookser was past midfield. That is 100% classic flip side play style. Just that counterattack, leaving that open net, and, and I buy power for the quick transition. They find it. It's honestly a toss up at this point. I, I couldn't tell you who I think is winning this. I don't know. I think it all, honestly comes down to game seven, whoever has the the uh, ping advantage. And there's yeah, that flip side aggression again, just stacking in front of the net, peppering it, throwing shot after shot, making them make saves, and just one of the saves ends up floating right back out in front of the net for the opening. Mm -hmm. Double commits on defense too. I mean, that's something that you're going to get when you're not familiar with teammates, right? I mean, yeah. end of comms are a little less. You're not familiar with what comms are, who, who's usually where. Crow has been back, and you can usually trust him to be on that goal line. Um, you know, it's sad Junior Dean. He's like, I just got to go for this. But, you know, it's the same situation as if you're in solo queue, you know? Yeah, I would say even, yeah. even to today, the communication, the way that teams communicate and players like talk about what they're what they're intending to do on on their pov is very very much different to how it used to be yeah. it used to be more like i got it i'm here but now yeah. it's like you're, now you're it's talking like about boost numbers information yeah tons of information but we're very very uh efficient with what we're saying in the chat but that was a great shot by sad the cooks just couldn't barely get it out of the net just again catching flip side too far up finding the opening in the net when it's just wide open in the back that's all right sad junior making up for that touch he got on the other end that caused the goal the goal of their own and uh, again i mean if they can continue to have uh good performances when they're on their own server they could still take the series you were mentioning before how close it is and it is great to see you know how close this actually oh, be, uh, is i'm sorry to interrupt oh, but <laughs> we're at around fifteen hundred dollars on Holy the prize cow. pool <laughs> that's insane I'll thank everybody that uh, has been donating at the very end of the, uh, the the competition, but that is insane. Thank you so much, guys. That's twelve hundred dollars <laughs> over the amount that I they originally pitched into the uh, the prize pool. I like how the, you type that in the chat too. So now <laughs> they have game. to think about that. <laughs> I like to give them live updates of the prize pool. It's, you know, tournament organizers, if you ever uh, if you ever <laughs> prize pool donations, <laughs> stress out your opponents. Yeah, just start talking to the players. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How are you guys feeling after getting scored on like that? Oh my gosh, I this wonder, is insane. I wonder, uh, I wonder if maybe we should see how, how Marky feels about... Oh yeah, we should jump in there. Cool. 
you. Nice. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Hey. Oh hey. How do you feel about the prize pool so far? You sweating a little more? Well, how much is it? Fifteen hundred dollars so far. I don't know uh, what that is in British money, okay. and I can't do math. I think so I think uh, around like thirteen hundred. I would say. It increases the sweat factor. I'll let, we'll let I'm you guys focus for the sweat anyway. Here. Do you need a pension, by the way, Lev? <laughs> It's not a comment about you as a person. <laughs> Black works in pensions now, that's all. Yeah, I, I'm a pension advisor, so... Yeah. If you feel like hanging up the mic... So to speak. No, so to speak. I'm <laughs> 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 funny. Oh, oh, you oh, destroyed him, it's that? fine. <laughs> How dare you, Cooks. <laughs> Sad Junior taking a leaf at a Gibbs book there. Glad to see that my no sports coaching is working for Cooks here. He's got the back corner shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> I'll go. The, roll it down the middle of the goal shot. <laughs> and hope that Sad Junior does Sad Junior thing. Oh, I'm just missing. Ooh, hello. Exactly. Oh yeah. Bye. Back right. I'll take him. Pardon, not because of the nice. Not. I'm in that. Me and Gibbs. And full back. Together. You're in challenge, challenge. Nice. Mm, back right. Big, wall. Yeah, yeah. Back dead, Mark. I, I've killed him. I've killed Kronovi. Just go for it, you're great. Gibbs, nice. Gibbs, go. We're all good. I'm out. One there. Alright, okay. right, well played guys, uh, we're gonna jump back in the casting booth. Right nice nice job. We're up to two to one in the series. Alright, let's drag the two casters back up. It's interesting to hear Cookster kinda of take that captain role in commanding everybody on what to do. It's it seems like his experience is kinda of shown here that he's still involved in that scene. Yeah, and honestly his English has improved dramatically since uh back in the day. Like every, every I've been on mouse sports for two seasons and he's improving every moment. His communication's get improving uh left and right and he's getting really good at uh you know, being able to not command his teammates but give them the uh, the confidence to go for stuff instead of just, you know, saying I got it here and there. Yeah, it's huge. Being able to tell your teammates what you want from them is definitely a valuable aspect of communication. It kind of gives them your thought process and kind of puts their rotation into what you're trying to do and, and it just creates a, a better synergy for everybody i think right $2400 canadian prize pool like that's I, crazy i'm just gonna tell Shout them real quick. you guys in the chat this is awesome oh. <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> hey guys Luke loves working so, yeah what's up how are you feeling about that prize pool moving up there that's yeah, pretty cool. I mean, uh, we, we, we just on the NA server, so uh, <laughs> we, were, we were just talking about that. How you did drop a game on the NA server. So, what is your mentality going into this EU game to try and match up the series? So we're luring them into the exact thing that happened for MLG, where we lost one on NA, then we beat them on EU, then we won the coin flip for Game Seven. That's the only reason why we won. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, Marky joined. Okay, well, I guess we're going in. Okay. <laughs> Best of luck, guys. Thanks, man. Oh, see ya. Hi, Sad. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> you just I, just, I just drank Sad that, Junior into the, the comms. I joined. I joined okay, it moved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is a big one. We're on an EU server now. Yeah. I buy power down one. So we might see some more aggression coming out from just trying to get that game back. Gibbs is on the Esper now. That's new. Gibbs actually loves the Esper. Uh, it's one of his favorite cards to play on. So this could be a turnaround. Interesting. The confidence booster, maybe. Yeah. I mean, you see it a lot sometimes when a player's having an off day like Turbo, he'll just switch around cars uh, yeah. every match to try to get himself in the groove. Kind of like a mental refresh. Yeah. And like we just talked, we just spoke with them about, you know, losing a game on NA server. They're, they're, they're confident because this is the same kind of storyline that they had against them in the MLG tournament back in 2015. I think the this only is difference is just they're not on that 49 game win streak. <laughs> this is the thing you're seeing though from this team is that, uh, and this is why that play style uh, ended up being uh, super um, uh, like uh, popular is uh, is this passing play and you can tell that these guys were just passing minded they're still doing that even right. spending all this time apart and you can see still and passing. you can see even with Gibbs not being in the competitive scene for quite a few years he still ha he still watches the RLCS on a daily basis yep. or at least on the weekends whenever whenever that's happening and he's adapting to that kind of playstyle. you can see he was zoning out the opponents uh, that were demoed there for that final opening A little bit more speed on the offensive third from I by power. 
And then they're quick to rotate back. I think they're starting to adapt to this uh, this aggressive play style from Flipside. We see a lot of openings the past few games on their defense. Huge double commit though. This mm -hmm. leaves their net wide open. Yeah. Yeah, I can see so that happening right, first. right as... Well, actually, Gibbs had a pretty strong touch to the backboard. A bit of a miscommunication. Um, and then Sad Jr. committing as the third man there. We'll open it up for Mike Rules. I think Sad Jr. thought that, hey, I'm not going to be able to make it back anyways. May as well try to get the 50 <laughs> here. But I feel like he might have had time to back off. But Yeah, I think a little bit, little bit un, uh, anxious there to try and get in there quicker than he needed to. And that's another thing I would like to note is that uh, currently, you know, in the in the meta that we have, it's all about that decision making and, and uh, third man rotation. It was yeah. still relevant back in the day, but I feel like nowadays that that is a huge. Oh, 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 pass. Pass. oh no, Gibbs! Gibbs. Oh, the Sad fake! Junior. I said Sad Junior. Junior. That cleans it up. This is a great but, pass from Kanye. Yeah. He goes up into the air, drops it straight down. And we see Gibbs and Sad both in front of the net. Nobody defending it. Cookser thinks Sad might hit it faster than he does, and Sad's just able to slow it down and go right under him. And Sad Junior just, just landed from that aerial before as well. It landed right in the perfect position. So it was a tactical huge fake, like God <laughs> fake, yeah. <laughs> It's an incredible series so far. It's actually a lot closer than we imagined, I would say. I actually think uh, Sad Junior should switch to it's a KBM. Chat's right. He got <laughs> the worlds by doing that one time. That's right. Yeah, yeah throw back to my <laughs> team, <laughs> Denial, in, in Season 3 when yeah. <laughs> his, his controller DC'd and we had to... He didn't tell us. He basically just uh, played it out. And he's like, yeah, I was on KBM for the last three minutes. Like, what? Didn't want to make you guys sweat. <laughs> Nice little back and forth one two from flip side. Oh, uh, speaking of one on the back and forth one two, that was a nice little <laughs> ping pong save by Sad Jr. and Kronovi. Could be punished here though, because I think they could have gotten possession off that had only one of them saved it, but luckily flip side doesn't capitalize. It's really cool to see the community to come back back together for this huge match. All the donations. Uh it seems like people are very excited to see this result. Um, and just to see game. these fun classic games and reminisce about the old scene of Rocket yeah. League. Uh, Gabe in chat too is like, I still don't know how we won that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they brought, they brought it back. Nice job by Marky. And I buy Power's defense is lacking a little bit. There's a lot of just like miscommunications or misunderstandings. That's a big mistouch from Kenobi. But we see it a lot where somebody's going to get that clear, get the ball out of defense, and people are trusting them and not going to net. And then it just bites them in the butt, their net's wide open and flip side's able to punish. We seem to see that on both sides, however. Uh, both teams seem to have those those third-man hiccups, which I think are yeah. opening up the nets, and that's pretty much all the goals that we've seen so far. A few nice passing plays by Kronovi and uh, Sad Jr., and also Mike rules at the start with that midfield pass. And like we talked about, it's bound to happen when you haven't played with these guys in you know four or five years. You're going to have some miscommunications or misunderstandings or, or just moments where you, you trust something that doesn't happen. It's really cool to see them all still be great friends. Uh, you know, all the banter at the beginning was, was great, but oh, what a great shot by Marky once again. Um, it's still cool to see how friendly they all are, are together because it was a tightly knit community back in the day. There was, I don't even know what the player count was in season one, but it was nowhere close to what it is today. Flipside tactics now. Looking like they're probably going to be taking the series i mean like they they got an na game now they're up on uh on their eu server here that's gonna put them at a huge advantage uh uh match point actually not that i'm rooting for anybody especially because you know cooks is on my uh my <laughs> team or anything but it is looking pretty confidently in their favor for the most part with pressure um mm -hmm. there's only still a minute and a half left in this game so there could be a quick change up of goals it's been higher scoring <laughs> I expect that I as think well. the difference here between these two teams is that Flipside's playing a much more team-oriented game where they're constantly yep. finding each other with passes, keeping possession, and just looking to, to put the ball somewhere a teammate can get it. But what we see from my by power is just a lot of solo players or solo uh, dribbles up the field trying to create an opening and bait somebody in. And oh, oh what a bitch! Oh, by sad. Marky still got the moves. Oh, Marky does that was think it's in, or he's not expecting the pinch. That was so smart. Yeah, no, he just he falls on it. It was such a Marky goal. You just <laughs> fall on the ball, and it it goes in the most perfect spot. For the classic words of Marky, that's a poogle right there. Poogle. I haven't heard poogle <laughs> in a, a couple of years. It wasn't pretty, but it was. Oh, it was a nice goal. Yeah, but compared to some of his goals, that was definitely pretty nice. Another nice passing play in front of the net. And it all oh, close oh, to the finish. Just off post. But again, that's, the, that's the difference. Is, is we see those passing plays. They're just creating openings and baiting people in, creating those free shots. 
I think this it's is really smart. Yeah, that was really smart. I was gonna say, uh, Kronobi, uh, they're giving Kronobi space and like, we can't do that. Kronobi's the one player that probably actually could get a solo play across most of us right now. So they just sent someone in, I forget who it was, but they just sent themselves at the ball, whether they hit the ball or Kronobi, they didn't matter. You just need to stop him. Great Huge placement. Shot. That was a nice power. So this, this will bring Flipside to match point if they finish this off in the next 15 seconds, which is looking like it will be. Not looking good for my power here. Oh, Gibbs going for the bumps. I like it. Final goal, at least to bring themselves close back in the game. Nah, it dies out quick. If Gibbs got that bump, that would have been a goal. Kronobi had a shot. And there it is. That flip side at match point, I believe. So yeah. I, yeah, that's match point. So they're th currently 3-1 up in the series. Um, I think that prize pool might have motivated some players in this <laughs> lobby. <laughs> why, don't sure. we, uh, why don't we go see what they're thinking now that they're on match point that's with what I was this thinking. prize pool? Yeah, let's go drop in there. <laughs> It fell around my neck and I couldn't put it back on. <laughs> wow. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Verge, do you mind not moving over so I don't drag things by accident? No, no problem. problem. Yeah, sorry. Um, Fuck's sake, Verge. All right. Did that, <laughs> did that prize will motivate you guys? Because it's looking really spicy out there on the field. I don't think we needed motivation. They're very bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I wonder. I'm curious to see if they're going to... There he is. Try to get uh, Crow up on, on offense a bit more. If it's do or die right now, I can totally see I buy power reverting to pure old play style and just sitting Gibbs in the net. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's just they they, they know how to have fun too. Whenever they want to yes. join in. <laughs> Especially with Kronovi being the one on that team who's still in the professional scene. Obviously mechanically he has to keep practicing, so he's probably yeah. their best chance at creating something yeah. against those other three players. Yeah, I think he's he's just he's reverting to that third man role because, you know, he's like, okay, I have to be the foundation here. I have to be the guy, but I, I think they're they're going to need him to do. It looked like he was. I mean, he saw his double tap. Looks like he's feeling pretty good today and warmed up. I feel like um, most of his touches has been pretty good that he's been able to get. I just think he can't with with Sad and, and Gibbs moving up on the ball like that. So we'll see. So we are at match point. Like I said, we're going into game five and. Uh, I have my money on F3 so far, but who knows if uh, I by power can bring it back. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm just very excited to see this final this, uh, match point. We are on that any server, so advantage goes to I by power here. Hopefully they can make use of it. I think as we all, uh, as much as we all Ooh. think, Ooh, Gibbs on a break. There it is. Wow. Gibbs carry. Kate. Never mind. Keep Gibbs out of the net. Put him on <laughs> offense. Gibbs carry. Incoming. I'm loving this new look of Gibbs up the field. He's, he's very aggressive. I really like it. And uh, the brains behind the organization moving up the field to uh, lead his team. So far, so good. And this is NA server, like I said. So uh, they do have the advantage here. See if we can bring it back to five or two or three for them. And as much as it looks like Flipside is taking it, uh, I think we all want to see a game seven. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, it depends who we brought on as a script writer. Did we get some of the RLCS guys? <laughs> I mean, Gibbs is in here. He's in there, I'll see us. Let's jump over to the comms at four minutes uh, left on the clock. Uh, who do we go? Who do we want to go over to? Let's check in on iBuy Power, see where their head's at. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, I'm back. I'm done with the coughing. Are you? Yeah, I got it. I'm back, Gordon. Okay. You, Gibbs? Uh, right to Mark. Oh. Nice. Uh, Close one. I'm in gold. He's, He's gonna bump me. I see you. I'm going again. I bumped the cucks. I'm going. I'm following. Yeah, I'll be right. I'm going all the way back. He gave it up. I, I think you can beat him. Alright, he just slams it. That's fine. Nice. Right. Oh, that's cool. Oh, what did I say? Good job. Good landing. Marky, I got. He's there. Um, Cox is chasing me. Nice, yeah. Game. Oh my god. Here we go, here we go, boys. <laughs> the comeback. My, I got uh, nothing, Marky. I'm going for a boost. Oh. I'm back right with Paul. Nice. Taking his boost. He's up. Nice, I'm up. He's got. I'm in the middle. Watch out. Yeah, you got to. Incoming Gibbs, go ahead. 
I'm back, right? Thank you. I got. That's fine. You had him. I got it. Oh, in the middle. <laughs> nice. Uh, ship. I'm back. Cox low boost. He's getting full now. We're gonna quickly change over to uh, flip side for the second half. I and see how they're doing. E10. Ugh, I had no boost. It's okay. yeah. Loads of time. It's my bad. No way. Alright. Let's pensionize them. You can see so far, they're actually a little more serious with all this all this money on the line. Would you shut up, please? <laughs> <laughs> all the money on the line here, I'm trying to focus. I thought I was muted, sorry, that's my bad. It's okay. Uh, nice, I'm behind. Uh, I'll turn. Mountain. Cannot go. I got the boost now. I'll I'm mid cooks. Careful though. Killed the Navi. I oh, got it. fuck. Not in. Oh. Damn. Uh, sorry. Um, I'm young. Take one more. One more touch. Nice. No. Oh, what a fing save that was. Nice. <laughs> it took 37 <laughs> shots, but we made it. <laughs> what? I hope Leaf that? wasn't upset that I told him to shut up. It's <laughs> Leaf, Leaf left and Verge. Oh, Ver Ver Virgin, yeah. Oh, who did I tell to shut up? <laughs> But Leaf sounds different nowadays. I don't think it's him anymore. Yeah, he's gone through puberty. Yeah, did you ever hear that thing about Avril Lavigne, how it's not actually her anymore? Leaf's Canadian. <laughs> Avril Lavigne's Canadian. Do you think that it's just a Canadian thing, right? <laughs> Can you? Uh, no booze. Uh, I'm gonna go kill Gibbs. Yeah, yeah. Me? Not a good idea. Too much... man to... Handle. Handle. Alrighty. Woman. I'll go for the turn on this. I got meters. I took their. I got. Come on. Should be start. Yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> you sneaky little boys. <laughs> I seen you chilling there beside him. <laughs> you're the only person that does that. My oh, you're the only one. Both so good. cheeky. <laughs> Poor Gibbs. Stay up with my moto. Right. <laughs> right. Who's going for this? I don't know what I'm doing here. I have no boost either. I'm, I'm up. He's beating me though. Over me. Mark. <laughs> He's there. Yeah, he's living. I don't have. Mike. Yeah. I'm behind. Boost. Back post. I'm behind, Mark. I'm gonna take the. One up. Uh, I misjudged that a wee bit. Are you wrong? Yes. Middle. Right. Oh, Touch. hello, I'm here. He's I got... I'm still in the mix. He's not first. I'm first. Oh. <laughs> yeah, back to you, sir. No! Insane, good try. <laughs> <laughs> One there. Finish! Leaving. Back. Kind of bump. Leaving. I'm full back. Yeah. I'm coming mid. Full back. Yeah. I'll touch. Yeah, yeah. I got him. One more. One more. Hello. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Oh, one yeah. more. Keep it alive. Yeah. <laughs> back left. <laughs> I'm going to get this. Uh, <laughs> why do oh, I this? Great thinking, Kronobi. <laughs> no, it had to end. I'm up. He's beating me. Uh, I'll try again. Yeah. Kill him. Kill him. I got, I got. Go for it, man. Go! It's alright. Confused. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm in the mid. Just one Shut more. Shut up, Kronobi. I actually hate you. You, you. <laughs> I, I gotta go. Can you fuck him? It's <laughs> not uh! You fuck him. Okay, <laughs> I'm up. His head is me. Leaving, leaving, back right. Go on up for this. One up. Beating. Nice, I'll try. Right. I'm on your right. Oh, yeah. No one up. Flick one, one now. Back, back to me. Oh, back to me. Back to cooks. Time on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get. <laughs> I get cancelled. I get cancelled. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> I got the assist. <laughs> so bad. I hate everything. Congratulations, guys. You have won <laughs> the rematch of 2015. Holy crap. World champions. World champions. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> the greatest team to ever exist. Flipside Talk Talks. Finally. Well played, well played, guys. Nice comms at the end there. I think I think that's the best goal to have summed up that series. Yeah. Let's bring yeah, let's bring the other boys in here as well. Exactly. Hey guys. Hey, well played, everybody. GGs, GGs. That was a lot of fun. GGs. Huge, huge thank you to you guys for uh, joining for this. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we were holding him down. So the final. Let me just check the final uh, prize pool. I believe it's twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred dollars and fifty. Yeah, twenty five fifty. Is that in your maple leaf money? That is in Canadian yeah, money. Yeah, so that is around. Like that is around uh, nineteen hundred dollars, I believe, or wow. eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, thanks for everyone for tuning in and donating. Yeah, that was that was yeah. a blast. Um, blast from the past for sure. That was really fun. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm upset. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that I didn't see full goaltending Gibbs for that last game. I only did full goaltender for the first minute of game one. Then I was like, all right, I'm good. <laughs> then you went full force. You were up there on the field. That was great. It's good to you see you. Play. Just, was our best striker. I want to be honest. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, that's why we lost 4-1. I mean. <laughs> Chrono, Chronovi's like, I'm glad I shook these guys. <laughs> <laughs> just bailing us out on goal line save after goal line save. <laughs> yeah, you guys made some nutty saves. They were getting they were getting a little bit frustrated on the, uh, on the, uh, the EU side. A little bit with some of those saves and get. I think it was the final game there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like yeah. one crazy save on crossbar that cooks. That was Kronovi's Kronovi save. Yeah. yeah. Incredible, yeah. incredible. Okay. Well, thank you guys once again. That was a that was a blast. Uh, we'll have to do some more of this in the future at some point. Yeah, um, yeah that was a good. Yeah, I'll um, these guys anytime. So yeah. I'll just make sure to drop your PayPal's uh, in the Discord, and I'll hand you guys the money. Okay. Thanks so much, man. Yeah, cool. No we'll do it again in five years. Yeah, five years yeah. time. Yeah, ten years. <laughs> ten years since the start. Now, now we got to see if I buy power can even beat F two. Oh, well, well, I mean, Leaf, you better watch yourself. All right. <laughs> Don't be throwing all these crazy accusations out here. You're talking to you. This is the Gibbs. Yeah, I know. He'll he'll be working up something for for the weekend to get back in. It's because I'm not good at rock anymore. Because I got to carry you on the desk every week. You know. That's, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let it out now. Okay. <laughs> also, I'm I'm kind of upset that Wethemir <laughs> talks in comms and Dude, then okay, I ripped so into me. I was clicking the mute button. I was clicking the mute button on my other Discord. I thought that muted like globally to all my discords it does it so i don't know how much i said when i was muted when i <laughs> I, he, I, he, he, I don't think you had anything dude you're like all right we're checking in on our comms and we're just seeing how they're doing <laughs> dude i was doing that like as if i was muted for everybody like i didn't i had no clue <laughs> yeah i don't know where i hear it and let's say oh all right we'll be moving over to the other uh yeah. oh dude <laughs> my bad my yeah, bad like, yo, i'm like Whoa, okay what no it's fine uh, it i mean matter. it doesn't matter it's all lighthearted anyway Congrats yeah, on the money. Uh, thank you so much for Virgin Leaf joining as well for the ca the casting couch. <laughs> as we'll say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for doing more of a couch than a booth. Yeah, I may have not heard of it yet, but I uh, I was probably great, you know. <laughs> yeah. What? what you, do you I don't know. I don't know what he said. said. <laughs> I have no idea. All I heard was I was great, and and you no, know, you were you were man, you were great. <laughs> you were oh. you were awesome. Is that what I said? Oh, Gold star. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a late, it's been a long day. <laughs> I, yeah, I no thanks. Thanks for having me too. It was fun to. Oh yeah, no worries, man. Thanks watch, for joining. Watch thanks. these um, old matches again. Thanks for accepting oh, such uh, short uh, notice, by the way. One quick thing before my uh, internet dies: the music I listen to is. <laughs> oh, did Jesus! And he's gone. <laughs> All right, catch you guys later. Thanks so much. Right. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks. Have fun. Yeah. Bye.